The people, the companies, the brands that are enabling and empowering their employees with it see the difference. I mean, uh, Target is a great example. They've already rolled out an app that every one of their employees on the store floor can quickly find out just about any question just by pressing the, the microphone prompt and saying, hey, do we have product XYZ in stock? And it goes to their database and says mm -hmm. it's in stock. Um, you can find it in this location. If it's not there, it's in Bay 234 in the back room, or it's not in stock, but you can find it at this store here. And it's amazing how much that really helps a customer. Can you imagine telling a customer, we don't have it in stock, but I'm going to make your life better by telling you where it is in stock. I mean, those kinds of things are now, I mean, realistic for when someone's on the floor. Um, and that kind of empowerment just, I mean, employees love it. Because now you're not dealing with a frustrated customer, you're helping the customer. And I mean, that's where we should be aiming for. We shouldn't be aiming for how can we, you know, get the most out of this customer. It's, you know, how can we frustrate them the most so they just buy whatever we want them to buy. It's how can we enable our frontline employees to help the customer even more. And then even better is, hey, if you're buying something that requires a battery, the AI can tell the employee, like, Hey, make sure you recommend double A batteries because they're going to need it for that. It doesn't come with batteries. So, make sure you get the power plug for the new phones because most people don't realize that new phones now don't come with the power plugs.